In this video, I head to Elkhart, Indiana and visit a company that helps me get our new RV organized with some pretty ingenious storage solutions. Well, here I am in Elkhart, Indiana, and uh, as I think about making this new RV ours, uh, getting things organized is uh, a big part of it. Well, there's a company here in Elkhart that I have uh, dealt with before, Organized Obi. They've invited me to stop by for a tour, and I figure this is a great time. And I'll also get some advice about how we can uh, organize stuff around this RV. So, here we go. Organized Obi specializes in aftermarket organizational solutions for recreational vehicles boats, and other places where storage may be tight. They make a wide variety of mesh and stretch nets using bungee cords and specially woven material that keeps things organized and secure. Organized Obi's Steve Height hey, showed me around. Hey, how are you? Organized Obi? Oh, it's great to be here. Let's show you around. Being in an RV, you need as much storage space as possible. And how many times have we been to where, where did I have that screwdriver, or where did I have this, or where did I have that? And if you're organized, it's less stressful. You get more time because you know exactly where everything is and everything has a place for it. And you can, with, with our products, you can turn virtually any nook and cranny into a, a storage area. What does Obi stand for? Where did that come from? Uh, Jason Obendorf is the owner of uh, Obico and Organized Obi, and that's where the name comes from. They all called him Obi. They called him Obi. And now the company is Organized Obi. After my tour, I asked Steve to come look at my new RV and give me some ideas. You know, everybody gets their RV, but everyone customizes it a little different, and uh, storage is such a premium that uh, we've provided, we provide a way to keep things, not only make more storage, but uh, keep it uh, organized. Well, and this one is my new one. And uh, let's see what you think we should do for organization. All right. Let's see what we got. Well, right here, if you got pets, um, we have a pet kit that you can just screw right on here. You can have a pet bowl and a tethered leash, and then it's all right there. When you wanna, you're done with it, you just tuck it in right there and you don't have to go all the way in. Same thing with here. Um, I mean, flashlights, you can do ponchos, uh, maps, any of that stuff can, can also go right there. We could take a, a barrier stretch net and put that across here, and that way you can have stuff in there and it won't bounce out, and then when you wanna get to it, you just pull the net down and grab what you want, and then that'll go back up. Okay. Um, all right, so in the shower, we have the Get Wet organizers, and you can put those right here or even on the back here. Um, and then you can keep all your bottles in there. You don't have to, you know, take them out every time you want Perfect. to take on a trip. You can just leave them up in there. And the, we use SNADS for those, which is a... Um, a 3M product, so it's got an adhesive, and you just pull, peel that off, stick it on there, and let it sit for 24 hours to cure, and you're good to go. Perfect. All right, so in the bedroom, we got all kinds of fun things. Uh, so again, any flat space, uh, you can use the nets, and these are great for your cell phone, for books, eyeglasses. So even here, uh, you could put a net right here and you got a little bit of space. You could put uh, like dishwashing gloves or if you wear gloves to, to, to take out your trash or your soap from dishes, um, all that, any, yep. you're good to go. So armed with Steve's suggestions, I set about installing the different organizing solutions for our RV. They go on by just attaching a few screws. Ready to see my work? Check it out. 
here's the shower bag that we attach to the wall and this is great we're able to keep our uh, our shampoos and all of our conditioners and the various uh, products that you need uh, all in one spot uh, this thing can get wet everything is secure uh, there's even a place uh, there with a little loop here that you can put a razor this is really handy Here's something else we like from Organized Obi. This little black piece of plastic, you know what that is? We uh, drilled it on the back of the shower door. It is a towel rack. Push that button up there and uh, it comes down and it's a towel rack. So you can uh, put your wet uh, shower towels on there and shut the door and it'll dry off as you're driving down the road. This is a welcome addition. I've got the storage space up here and with this netting here it's going to hold things here. Things that I want to I want easy access to, salt and pepper, all different spices. I've got some tea up here. I could put all different things and there it's going to be held there. It's not going to fall down. It's not going to come down unless I want it down. I love this, Mike. In the bedroom, these little mesh bags are very handy. This is my side. I've got uh, some some reading material, a, a book there. You can keep a pair of glasses. You can stick all sorts of stuff in there. That's on my side. On the other side, same thing. Room for a magazine, a, a cell phone. Uh, it's just really handy. This little these little um, mesh holders. You can get everything in there, and nothing rattles around. I really like that part. Okay, so in here. We have Bo's dog leash when we got to take him out. And uh, this is his water dish. There's also a food dish in there. And it's nice and secure. It's not going to bang around as we're driving down the road. Oh, I've got to show you this. I am truly excited about this addition. This bag being here. Dish soap, sponge, cloth that I use to clean, some SOS pads, different things to clean with easily accessible right inside the door. I don't have to uh, wonder where they are. They're right here. Perfect. And on this one we've got a couple things. One, the whisk room. I never can find the whisk room when I need it. And uh, it's right there now. All the time there you can just uh, clean off the step or whatever you need. Uh, right here. These are those emergency ponchos. They're all folded up but you can just take them out of there if you get stuck in the rain. This is a national map. It folds out. It's huge. It's a big map of the USA. One map showing all the roads. We really like that. We'll put some other things in here. There's room. I'll put a flashlight or two in there as well. But uh, everything's neat and tight and it's not going to rattle around and I know where it is. Underneath the seat here's another one. And in here I keep my uh, tablet computer and lots of my charge car charge cords, you know, my USB cables, my charging cables. Uh, these are some computer cables I use to charge the uh, the laptops off of 12 volts. But it's always in one spot. And if you're like me, I always had those things all over the RV. I never could quite find them. And now everything is where I need it. And I, I'm really glad to keep the, the tablet there nice and secure. And this holder is where I'm going to put my cutting board. I have several different things in mind that I can stick down in here, but the cutting board, again, I want to be able to get that easily. So, perfect. Now, I knew Jennifer would be pleased, particularly with one idea that Steve gave us that solved a dilemma we've had for years. One more surprise. Do you remember in all of our different RVs, the one thing you've not been able to do is find a place to store fruit. I have wanted some place special to store fruit. I have seen fruit hammocks. And guess what? You have one now. Okay, I'm looking. Aha! Here is a hammock. And you just I brought some it. fruit. I brought some fruit. You don't have you just put some fruit in, load it up. Put some Look fruit at in. Now this will give it lots of air. Has yeah. great air. And this is awesome. We don't have fruit rolling all around. You oh, got a little hook so there to good. hook and it. And I'm gonna hook it right there. Yeah. Man, everybody's gonna want one of these. Well, we'll put a link and they can even get five percent off. Because we'll the, the last link. time I was trying our last rig, I was trying to figure out where to put it and there wasn't a spot. 
And the only thing I could think of was right here. That's too small. And yeah, I didn't want to use that spot. But this, that look, spot. you've got all that length you can put that in. You can put a... I can see it. Bananas, apples, yes. all our favorite oh, fruits. Oh, this is awesome. This is good. I am very, very happy. Thank you for doing that. Stepping outside the RV towards the back and this huge pass-through storage area. This is, um, this is like a garage. I mean, it is big enough to store bikes and uh, chairs and lots of our stuff. This is another area that's perfect for some organized OB products. Back here, we installed something called VersaTrack. And from it, we attached hangers and hooks perfect for hoses and electrical cords and these baskets they're great for holding the smaller stuff that we would uh, need uh, regularly in our rv lifestyle but otherwise we'd be kind of rolling around back here these baskets make it so easy to get everything off the floor we're feeling pretty good about the way these little extras will help us stay organized with a little extra storage space a place for everything and everything in its place. Now you can check out the products that we just showed you at organizedob.com and if you use the discount code RV Lifestyle, all in caps, if you use RV Lifestyle, all in caps, at checkout, they'll give you 5% off. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle right here on YouTube. And when you do that, be sure and click the little bell icon and then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thank you for watching. Happy trails.